The planet that we call home has some truly astonishing and beautiful wonders, but some things about Earth are just downright disturbing. Sometimes this is the work of Mother Nature herself. But sadly, some of the disturbing facts about Earth are of our own making. Keep watching as I count down 10 super interesting, but rather disturbing facts about planet Earth. Amazing! Number 10. More than 100 million Americans live where the air is not safe to breathe. Now, this is disturbing. More than 100 million Americans are breathing air which has unsafe levels of pollutants. In California, for example, increasing temperatures and wildfires resulting from drought have caused particle pollution to spike, significantly affecting air quality. But Americans aren't the only ones at risk. According to data from the World Health Organization, Zabol in Iran has the worst air pollution, with ultra-fine particle levels at 21 times what the World Health Organization recommends. Cities in India and Saudi Arabia Arabia are also at critically high levels of air pollution. The air in China is also so polluted it is visible from space. An Italian architect is facing China's smoggy presence head on and is designing forest cities where buildings will have facades covered with trees and plant life. This is called green architecture and may offer some much needed hope for the future. Number 9. Snake Island Brazil has the highest concentration of venomous snakes in the world. A fear of snakes is very common, but a visit to Ilha de Quimada Grande in Brazil is sure to strike fear into the heart of the bravest soul. This is Snake Island, so named for having the highest concentration of venomous snakes in the world. In fact, estimates vary between 1 and 5 snakes for every square meter of this terrifying island. Perhaps more terrifying, if that's even possible, is that Snake Island is the only home of one of the world's most deadly snakes, the Golden Lancehead Viper, whose venom can kill humans in less than one hour. You're probably wondering how all these snakes ended up here. Well, the island used to be part of mainland Brazil, but rising sea levels 11,000 years ago caused a division. Without ground level predators, the snakes on the newly formed island evolved and thrived. Visits to this deadly place must be legally sanctioned by the Brazilian government and a doctor must always be present due to the high risk of snake bites. And rightly so, I think. Number 8. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is twice the size of the continental US. Our oceans are riddled with evidence of mankind's consumption, with the biggest giveaway being the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, also known as the Pacific Trash Vortex. It is an accumulation of marine debris sitting in two distinct patches because of a system of circular ocean currents known as the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre. The East Patch between Hawaii and California and the West Patch near Japan are thought to compromise nearly 100 million tons of garbage and together are twice the size of continental US. Sadly, the majority of this has settled on the sea floor and is not biodegradable because much of it is plastic. Although this isn't the only trash vortex in our oceans, it is certainly the biggest. About 80% of its debris comes from Northern American and Asian land-based activities which makes its way off the coastline into the ocean. The other 20% comes from cargo ships, offshore rigs, and other boaters. Number 7. Spots in the Atacama Desert of Chile and Peru have never seen rain recorded. The Atacama Desert of Chile and Peru is the driest place on Earth. In fact, it's so dry, with rainfall so minimal that there are spots in the middle where rain has never been recorded. The average rainfall in the Atacama Desert is only 0.01 centimeters per year. Although you might assume it's a very hot place, the average daily temperatures ranges from 0 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Quite mild. A reason why the Atacama Desert doesn't get much rainfall is a phenomenon called rain shadow. The positioning of the Andes mountain range causes the moist tropical air of the east trade winds to be caught by the high altitude mountain tops. This air cools, condenses, rains and snows right on the mountains. When the air descends on the desert side of the mountains, it warms and holds onto moisture. Incredibly, the Andes therefore mark the division between the driest and one of the wettest places on earth, the Amazon. Number 6. Two thirds of the species living in the ocean are yet to be discovered. The ocean covers an incredible 70% of the earth's 
surface, and while we are intent on exploring other planets, we haven't yet fully explored our own. You see, we have explored less than 5% of our oceans, and thus we have marine life that has never been seen by human eyes. By estimation, between 700,000 and 1 million species of sea life exist, and potentially, one-third to two-thirds remain undiscovered. One such unexplored place is the Abyss, located off Australia's east coast, at a depth of 4,000 meters. No light and debilitating temperatures, it's certainly not easily or quickly explored. A team of scientists from seven countries just took on this challenge and have so far found that a third of the species they collected are unknown and require cataloging over the next few years. Number 5. The sixth wave of mass extinctions of plants and animals is occurring now. It was 65 million years ago that dinosaurs were wiped out in a mass extinction, but today we're amid another spate of extinctions. The sixth wave, in fact. Past mass extinctions were caused by natural events completely out of our control. The bad news is that this wave is almost entirely down to human fault. 99% of the species under threat are in this position because of human activities. So, how do we know this wave is such a bad one? Natural extinction occurs at a rate of 1 to 5 species per year. This is also called the background rate. But, extinctions in recent times have been occurring every day, and at a rate of 1,000 to 10,000 times the background rate. The extinction crisis is happening because of toxic pollution, overhunting, climate change, and habitat destruction. But, the root cause of these comes down to continued human overpopulation and overconsumption. Number 4. There are 8.6 million lightning strikes every day. Lightning is a common occurrence in areas of our planet prone to thunderstorms, but it continues to strike awe and often a little fear into our hearts. According to research, there are 8.6 million lightning strikes to Earth's surface every day. Every year, in the US alone, there are 25 brightly visible thunderbolts. Of these 25 million, 30 people in addition to many farm animals are killed. Lightning is a means for thunderstorms to vent the pent-up energy brewing within. Caused by imbalances within clouds or between the storm clouds and the ground, lightning is extremely hot, with each bolt containing up to 1 billion volts of electricity. Oh yeah, and if you believe that lightning never strikes the same place twice, think again. This is a total myth. How dare we assume what nature cannot do. Number 3. Mother Nature has events that carry more energy than atomic bombs. There is no doubt that large thunderstorms and tropical cyclones are an immense show of nature's force. This force you experience is energy formed from the winds and the heat stored and released when water vapor becomes rain, not to mention the waves that are generated from these weather events. During an average hurricane's life cycle, it can expend as much energy as 10,000 nuclear bombs, which is equivalent to 200 times our capacity on Earth for electrical generation. Based on calculations, the deadly Oklahoma tornado in 2013 was up to 600 times more powerful than the bomb which devastated Hiroshima. Scarily, with our warming climate, the intensity of storms like these will only increase. This is evident by tropical cyclones forming where they never been seen before. Number 2. Turritopsis storni jellyfish is the only living thing on Earth that is immortal. One of the ocean species which has been discovered and is intensely interesting is the Turritopsis dorni jellyfish. That's because it's been found to be, wait for it, immortal, previously known as the Turritopsis nutricula. This jellyfish has a life cycle that scientists claim can be repeated indefinitely. What that means is, they aren't immune to being killed or eaten, but when they suffer some kind of environmental stress, starvation, or injury that doesn't cause instant death, they can regenerate. It's all about their life cycle. When fertilization occurs, it results in tiny larvae emerging to swim in the ocean. The larvae stop swimming to dive to the ocean floor and cling to a rock. The larvae then change form into columns of polyps. A few days later, jellyfish only one millimeter wide split from the tips of the polyps and float across the ocean. Two to four weeks later, they are sexually mature and five millimeters across. 
when they need to regenerate, the process starts reversing, first into a blob, then back to polyp stage, on a rock before splitting off as new little jellyfish. Number 1. A supernova explosion will be visible to the naked eye in 2022. Astronomer Larry Molnar has presented the first ever prediction that a supernova explosion will occur and that it will be visible to the naked eye of those on Earth. Two binary stars which were orbiting each other every 11 hours have started to eclipse each other at an increasing rate of frequency. Astronomers have been able to conclude that these stars, known as KIC 9832227, will eventually collide, producing a red nova and some astonishing stellar fireworks. And it's meant to occur pretty soon. In 2022, give or take a year at this stage, as well as being a marvel to witness, it is going to provide a rare opportunity to study how stars live and die. By predicting the explosion, scientists can observe the binary stars leading up to, during, and post nova. Predictions for the red nova occurrence will be firmed up as more data is gathered on the pair of stars that share an atmosphere. Excited about the supernova? And which fact did you find most disturbing? Do you think we should be doing anything about them? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel, clicking the bell icon to stay updated. We'll be making more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.